friends and welcome to Sheikh Khan Free Market View. Indian markets continued to consolidate yesterday uh, with uh, Sensex putting on over 33 points gain and Nifty putting on 12 points gain. Uh, what was more important was the broader market, especially the mid caps, uh, saw some uh, value buying and there was uh, action across the board. However, the banking shares continued to read under the pressure because of the CRR hike which came in. If you look at the queues from Wall Street, uh, there was a pause in the rally post the presidential election out there as well. Dow corrected by 54 points, even Nasdaq saw a cut of about 13 points, S&P was down about 11 points. Uh, the US market out there had fantastic uh, movement, uh, hitting record highs. However, yesterday there was pause uh, since uh, people would like to now wait and watch for more data which is likely to come out. Uh, GDP data is going to be announced today there, so uh, traders would keep an eye on that data there. If you look at most of the Asian markets, they are trading mixed. However, the queues from SGX uh, indicates a flattish kind of an opening uh, with positive bias for Nifty. If you look at the flows from FIIs, they continue to remain sellers in the Indian market. They sold a stock worth 1436 crore yesterday in the cash market. They sold index futures worth 123 crores. Whereas DIIs continue to support the market uh, with the buying figure of 1230 crores. So after this flattish kind of an opening, how Nifty is likely to behave throughout the day? Let's have a view from our derivatives team. Good morning, friends. Welcome to analysis on derivatives. Uh, yesterday, after seeing uh, after seeing a positive cues from the international markets, our market did open on a positive note, and thereon we did saw some kind of a positive momentum to uh, which continued in the market, and uh, market did close on a on, on a higher note with a gain of around 0.30 percentage, uh, settling at 8150.60. Ever jitters in the between uh, that a market uh, did uh, showed some kind of a selling pressure also. But it was it was uh, uh, the day where bulls uh, 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 bulls was in charge and uh, it did manage to close on a positive note. While on the open interest terms, we did show an addition of long positions which were added in yesterday's uh, trading session. Open interest went up by around four uh, four point six five percentage. That is approximately five out percentage was added in the open interest. Absolute term seven point zero six lakh shares were added in the open interest. However, cost of carry. Also increased from one and a half odd percentage to currently it's been at around three and a half odd percentage. That is Nifty premium currently from around uh, the, from premium of 12 odd points. Uh, it's quoting uh, the premium currently it stands at around 21, 22 odd points, indicating majority of the addition which was seen in yesterday's trade was on the longer side. While on the put call ratio, we have seen an uh, increase in one basis point from 1.00 to 1.01. And uh, volatility index uh, also uh, also increased. Now this is an unusual phenomenon. We have been seeing on the last two consecutive trading sessions, market been closing on a higher note, but uh, volatility index not been settling off, not been cooling off. It's been uh, moving on the uh, on the upward trajectory. And it's been uh, and yesterday's trading session we did so an uh, uptick of around two and a half odd percentage in VIX, and it's been trading in even around 18.01 odd levels. On the option side, the only important uh, I like to be uh, highlight is the 8,000 put option, uh, which continues to add significant amount of uh, uh, put, uh, significant amount of shares in open interest. And in yesterday's trading session, also we have seen an addition of around 19 percentage. It's very much heavy in terms of open interest, uh, and it's also highest in terms of open interest in the put side, uh, with around 67 lakh shares into it, which is quite huge. While uh, 7,800 and 7,900 put option all have seen an addition of anywhere around 20, uh, 15 and 24 percentage respectively. While on the call side, not major addition was been seen. Uh, 8,100 uh, call option have seen an addition of around 14 percentage. The base is quite low, uh, with around 20 lakh shares at 14 percentage, which uh, quite minimal uh, in terms of open interest. In terms of build up, while 8200 and 300 call option have seen an addition of around 3 to 12 percentage respectively. So, all in all, we have been seeing significant amount of put tracking taking place in 8000 put option stands as a very, uh, a, a, a very strong support zone. And uh, breaking 8000 levels for this expiry for this series would be quite difficult for the market, seeing the uh, OI addition into it. If in case market goes below it, then market will try it. Uh, try, uh, try completely to come above and close uh, and to sustain above 8,000 levels. So, our main focus uh, for this series would be on 8,000 put up 8,000 levels and would be uh, the uh, would, would consider as the strongest support zone for the market in the coming trading session. 
There are no securities in bank period for today's trade on the FIS terms in index futures. They were net sellers by 123 or crores. Index options net buyers by 622 or crores, while stock futures net buyers by 753 crores and stock options net buyers by 22 crores only. On the market level of IDS, we have stands at 8050 with a lower range at 8050 and high range at 8200. As if it is trading flat, it's up by just 5 odd points and scoring annual around 8155, indicating some kind of a flat to positive opening can be expected in the morning trade. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Friends, let's have a look at the trading ideas for the day. The first one being Idea Cellular. Now, Idea Cellular, as per media reports, has put on block 100% of its stake in tower business. Uh, the company is looking to sell uh, close to 11,000 telecom towers that it's hold and the valuation that they are looking at is close to $1 billion. So, a respite for Idea, uh, the stock can trade uh, positive in trade today. Uh, one can long with its stop loss of 74, the potential upside could be closer to 80 levels. Moving on to important news, uh, Sun Pharma launches branded uh, ophthalmic uh, bronzite in uh, US. Tata Steel is in talks uh, with Liberty House to sell UK specialty assets uh, for over $124 million. Jagrat Prakashan's unit, uh, Music Broadcast, files prospector for uh, 400 billion rupees new share. share. Sterling Power Grid is said to have filed uh, draft prospectors for uh, INBIT. India's stock board is likely to hear Reliance plea uh, in the KG's B6 row arbitration today. Orbindo Pharma has issued one more US FGA nod for Navy repairing uh, tablets. Tata Steel and Thyssen Group may cut port Talbot uh, capacity. Sheila Phone IPO is uh, open today. Edelweiss AMC buys fund business of JP Morgan asset. Adani Group is likely to ramp up uh, Dhamra port capacity to about 300 million tons. JSW Steel has joined uh, various bidders to buy Italy's uh, Ilwa plant. India Cement has deposited close to 19 crore. This is towards penalty which was imposed on the company by CCI. Maruti Suzuki has stopped production of RITs. Cox and King uh, announced disappointing set of numbers. However, uh, there was some announcement in terms of Meninger Hotels and Pandox AB, which have signed lease agreement for hotel in Copenhagen. Important results update uh, Timken India, the Q2 net uh, came in at about 200, 298.6 million rupees uh, versus 211.6 million rupees. Riveni Engineering again announced its Q2 numbers. Uh, the PAD came in at about 679 million versus 222 two million and Mahanagar Gas came out uh, with a good set of numbers uh, with PAD being uh, closer to 1.02 billion rupees versus estimate of 947 million. Important uh, results from Nifty, uh, Tata Power is likely to announce its numbers, the estimate is uh, 324 crore as per the consensus. Uh, watch list that we created for the day, stock with positive bias we have DHFL, Tata Chemical and LIC Housing Finance, whereas stock with negative bias we have Amaraja Battery and Union Bank. Advisory pick uh, that we have uh, for today, Bajaj Holding, HDFC Bank, NBCC, Suen Life Science and Triveni Turbine. Thank you friends.